Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be doing a video about the Orwo color film. And this is an opinion video. I will have some results of this same color film, not shot by me, by one of my co-workers. And if you don't know what Orwo is, Orwo is a brand that's been making um, black and white film mostly, or film for decades. And they've survived the digital age by making black and white film for uh, reproduction and conservation uh, things. So basically, the Library of Congress in the US uses Orwell film for scanning documents for long uh, periods of time. Like, you know, basically, film preserves very well without oxygen. Like, it's known how uh, film ages with time. Digital media is not so simple as the aging. So Orwell has been surviving like that and doing motion picture film for Super 8, 8 millimeter, uh, 16, and stuff like that. So Orwell has been in that market for a while. It's been kind of like the underdog of the film world. And recently, there's been a lot of movement, a lot of conversation coming from Orwell. One of them being that they basically rebranded. They uh, went bankrupt for restructuring and to break some old contracts and uh, do things like that, which is kind of normal in business, uh, you know, things to do a bankruptcy, to restructure, reorganize. And one of them is that they were, one of the big news is they were coming out with Orwell Color Film. They said it was going to be coming out for motion picture and still photography because they have never, they haven't sold in the last maybe couple decade or two decades uh, still photography film, but they were only doing motion picture and like I said, stuff for for like libraries and things like that. So this was the first time they were coming out with something and the color film is the Orwell Wolfen Color 500, NC500. This, even though it says 500, is a 400 speed film. It says on the side with an expiry date of 10, uh, 2024. And this says limited. If you see the box, it says limited color, limited edition. But the question that I have, and this is why I'm making this video, is Orwo announced that this was coming. They announced that it was going to be a motion picture film. First, it was going to have ECN2 capacity, so it would be like with Remjet, and it would be developed in ECN2. Then out of the blue, it came out as a C41 film, and now they're saying the motion picture film that they're also going to be doing in color is going to be motion picture, uh, sorry, C41 also, which then is like a cross process for ECN2. Um, but the weird thing is they open uh, pre-sales for the Orwell, Orwell Color Wolfen Color Film uh, a couple of months ago, and they only sent a couple samples to people on YouTube or content creators on blogs and stuff, a couple sample rolls. And I have asked this in the news, and I said, hey, who has received film? Because pre-sales are always a little dangerous, even from known companies, because sometimes there's delays, sometimes there's issues with factories and stuff, and they're trying to reset a uh, converting line and a finishing line and all this stuff, which is hard, as we've seen with Adox and other players. Kodak is still tr struggling to upscale uh, their uh, converting film uh, line. But this was a huge surprise to me when I arrive in uh, Photopia Hamburg. I was in a fair there like uh, mid-October. And I see behind my booth that we were in analog uh, well, chrome land, which is an analog corner in the booth, in the fair. We had a whole thing. Uh, Studio 20 by 24 was there. Camera Rescue was there. I was there with them. Uh, we had um, Filmo Matt. We had Adox there. There was all these people there. Uh, and behind in a booth that was selling tripods and Chinese gizmos was a bunch of Orwell color film. And that, first of all, surprised me because I knew that there was pre-sales, but nobody had received them. At least nobody had told me about it. Um, but you could buy this film there. You could buy Orwell Color Film, uh, Wolfen 500 NC uh, film at the fair at around 14.95 or 15 euro a roll. You could buy. It was limited. They said there were 500 rolls, and the actual person that was there was saying that he was the person that was coding the film. He was the actual guy or engineer or whatever it's called that was doing this film. And my first question to him was, okay, why is this film here being sold to people if people have bought it and haven't received it? Either you're shipping right now and people are getting it in the next week, or this is kind of a little sketchy. Um, which to, he said, like, 
couldn't really answer me anything. Um, so we grabbed a couple of these rolls. I actually bought these two rolls because, like I said, I like buying things that are on the shelves. I don't. I, I'm a bit skeptical of things that are not on the shelves, basically. And I decided to keep them to bring them here to Finland and shoot uh, some of this stuff. But meanwhile, one of my co-workers shot a roll and developed it. Um, I will be showing the scans. They look like a 400, feet, uh, 400 speed film was actually a bit of a, you know, it wasn't that much of a 400 speed film. The coder did say that we should expose it at 320. And I will say, when there's natural conditions like uh, sunny daylight stuff, the film looks decent. It is obviously not equivalent to Portra or Fuji 400H or something like that, but more like almost like a semi, like, like a mix between expired film and low latitude film. The same thing with Portra. This seems to have like five stops latitude from highlights to shadows. It's like five stops or maybe less. Portra has more. That's, you know, the old, like there's so much uh, information in a negative, color negative from Portra or Kodak, but this doesn't seem to have this. I will say it doesn't have any etchings, so you can't say, it doesn't say Kodak, it doesn't say uh, Ilford, it doesn't say Fuji, it doesn't say Agfa, it just has no name, no numbers on the sides. Uh, and this film seems to look, like I say, like a 400 speed-ish expired film. Uh, I don't know if this is completely new. I don't know if it's completely old, but what we shot and we found out is that it's interesting, let's say that way. It's a different kind of color film. But like I said, I raise again the question to those who have backed this and have bought, and someone came to the fair and told me they had bought five rolls in the pre-order and still hadn't received any. And I said, well, go behind here, you can buy them now. And he was kind of a little upset. I understand the why, but I've decided that this two rolls that I have here, I'm going to shoot one off for a video uh, just for the sake of explaining what I find because I found interesting results. Um, I want you to let me know in a comment below what camera and lens combination you would like to see me use. I will try my best to do this. You can go to camerastore.com, find some gear and try to see if I can borrow it. And the comment with the highest upvote will receive the other role. Okay, so there's a free color or will roll a real roll that is here in my hands that I will ship to someone. I'll give it two weeks. Basically, by the time I finish this review, I will give it two weeks to send the roll to the person that wins. And then I'll upload my review of the Orwell color. But I would like to ask you guys also, apart from letting me know what camera and lens or whatever you want me to shoot with this Orwell stuff, you can also suggest what kind of motive you want me to shoot, be it studio flash photography or street photography or night photography or whatever, I'll try my best. Um, is what do you think of the situation with a color film that has been pre-sold but is currently only available when you bought it at a fair in Germany. That to me is slightly worrisome, but I would love to know what you think. Maybe I'm a little paranoid. I am usually quite paranoid. Someone actually told me in the comments below uh, a while ago, Ferrania. They were like, what about Ferrania? Ferrania did a Kickstarter for film and they're being selling film without fulfilling their uh, goals. And I also think that is a bit of a problem. They have offered multiple ways for those people that like uh, supported them at the beginning to either cash their money for different films or even like whatever solutions. It's still also an issue. But this Orwell stuff also kind of worries me because we do need more color film players. We do need more people converting film. We need options in the market. We've seen that with things like Santa Color or Cinestill. People are very excited to buy film and shoot film, but we need uh, sustainable projects that can on go give film to the community on the long run. So this is one of those things that worried me and having them in my hands calms me down slightly, but still not knowing that people have gotten their film worries me. So yeah, I would love to know what you have to say. Let me know if you want to win a roll of film. I'll be happy to share it. I'll leave my link to my Patreon and PayPal donations if you feel like supporting the channel. It helps me pay for these 30 euros of film that I will be shooting. Well, I'll be giving one away uh, to you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching. And let me know what you also think about the results I'm posting. Like I said, I think the lighting conditions and stuff were not exactly the best and the metering. Um, I didn't take the shots, but my colleague did to shoot some night sh uh, shots and trusted the meter maybe a little too much. But still, I think this is more like a 200 speed color film. 
with low amounts of latitude. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.